Hello everyone, I got a nice little quick blender tip for you today. So have you ever wondered if you could lock certain vertices in edit mode in Blender so that they wouldn't be affected when using proportional editing? Well, I'm here to answer those doubts. The short answer, you can't. Blender doesn't have that feature. You can't lock anything. You can hide them and they wouldn't be affected but sometimes that's just not what you want since you can't really see the shape you're creating. But there is a workaround as you can see. Here on the face of this cylinder only half of the vertices are affected by the transformation. Let me show you how to set up this behavior on this other cylinder. First you need to create a new vertex group. Let's call it proportional editing. Now you need to select the vertices you want to affect by the proportional editing and assign them to the group. Next, you go into object mode and add a basis shape key by clicking on this plus sign and then add another one. Enable shape key edit mode here, set the value here to one. Under vertex group, select your proportional editing group and you can go back to edit mode to make the transformation. I'll disable the subdivision modifier in edit mode so that you can see better what's happening. You can see that only the vertices from the vertex group are affected by the move transformation. Let's enable the modifier again. When you're done with the move, back in object mode, you can decrease the value here to have your shape somewhere in between if you feel you've exaggerated in the first place. Next, when you're satisfied with the result, you'd probably want to apply this transformation so it can go up and down like we have it now. And to do that, you need to delete the shape keys. But if you delete them right away, regardless of the order, you lose the geometry created. See what I'm talking about. So first you need to create a new shape from mix here and then delete the basis and key number one first and then the key number two. So there you have it. Tell me in the comments, do you wish Blender had the option to lock the vertices or if you don't see the need for this feature? Anyway, hit like before you go. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.